Pew, pew. Huh? Ah! Ah! Well, hello everyone, and welcome to part two of this Egypt campaign of the Imperator Augustus expansion. Uh, now, just to remember, this is still early access, so things are still liable to change. Uh, but thanks once again to the Total War team for giving me a little bit of early access here. It is much appreciated. So today, we're going to try and finish off the tribe over here. I did withdraw to allow my army to recover. And let's see if I can recruit... Oh. Well, I mean, a little bit of infantry is better than none. So at least they can be a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of fodder. Um, one thing that I have just noticed that they've implemented is having a, a slightly transparent campaign map. So let me just go over like, you can still see the elephant for in a, in a campaign map there. Which I think is very nice. It may have already been implemented a long time ago, but I have only just noticed. So, <laughs> uh, Also, I hope you all enjoyed part one. Um, this is going to be quite a fun campaign. So, we destroyed the Heralds of Alatu. Uh, and the Eagles of Zeus are resting now. Actually, I'm going to rename them. As usual, I usually call the first army the Rambers. There we are. Led by Ptolemy. Boom. And we currently control... So we can secure promotion for our other generals here. I'm not going to. Oh, Yes, he's another member there. Okay. Actually, how is the... How's it looking? Okay, no chance of civil, civil war yet. Uh, also, just to add, we are a client state of Mark Antony. Um, and we're at war with Lepidus, mainly because he broke the alliance with Antony, so we're at war with him and them, and also Parthia, because I was asked to join by Antony, and, you know, Cleopatra and, and then Mark Antony are pretty, you know, together. So, I felt it best to honour my allegiance, so I am definitely not powerful enough to take out them by myself. Oh yes, a rebellion was imminent, which we are going to deal with, as you can see, just up there, it just appeared. At least I presume that's the rebellion. Yes, here we go. However, I do have a force in there ready to kind of deal with it. Commander. So that should be okay. In terms of, oh, I should probably think about getting a navy actually when my economy gets a bit better. So we'll just do some of that. And it's currently winter. We. Don't appear to have a food shortage at the minute, which is great. Swift and, silent as a shadow. and I'm currently just using most of my money on military sabotages and the like. Your will is your we take this settlement. Okay. I can't... Oh, uh, I can. I'm not going to hire any mercenaries, though. We're going to try and do this with the forces that we have. Man, they really have nerfed my economy. Although my economy wasn't great to start with. Hmm. Can't believe how many people he's at war with already, and look at the amount of client states he's got. Oh, Anthony, you're so powerful. Okay. So, I may just get rid of... Oh. Well, no, now I've upgraded them, I won't disband them. That was my bad. And get rid of one of them and one of them. Because I don't believe we're going to have anyone invading us from here. We may want to expand down there at some point though. So I'll leave a few units in there. In Alexandria. Okay, so I'll try and deal with the rebellion this turn. Four units against six. Okay, I will pursue them. Ah, Citizen Cavalry, Tarantine Cavalry and Peltasts. Right, well, we'll give it a go. Their general is also souped up. Hmm. I believe with my garrison force, that wouldn't have been a problem if I had them as well. However, if I can get them to charge into my pikes, I should have this in the bag. My slingers will have a longer range than their peltists. However, they're all like... How did they get an experienced army, eh? Well, anywho. Oh. 
pikemen at your command. Oh, no, I don't want them to spread that thinly. Pikemen, form Palak General. Mm -hmm. This isn't Ptolemy, so he is expendable. Ready. And this Egyptian cav unit will just. It's not really amazing. I mean, look at that guy. Hat does have a pretty cool hat, actually. I actually wore one similar to that when I worked at the uh, a summer camp in Canada uh, last summer. I used to call it my tilly hat. Because I was the archery instructor at the camp, so uh, in the Canadian heat in Ontario, he does get pretty hot out in the sun. Okay, let's see what they're going to do. So they just... It's pretty much a rebellion of all cavalry. What? No, I'm not going to be quiet. And then I start being quiet, but anyway. Okay. We will continue to advance, as they're not taking my bait anytime soon, I don't think. Probably when I get in range, that's when they'll start manoeuvring. Uh, let me just pause it so I can actually... Uh... Okie dokie, so we'll fire in on the Peltasts. This unit of Cav here can try and defend the flank. Oh god. I'm unsure what they're going to be able to do. Our general is under attack. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of the situation. General, try and go into their flank there. And do a bit of a flank and see. We'll go after the Tarantine Cavalry of our Egyptian Cav. Just keep them occupied. I'll pull my general out of there. Nope, wrong unit. Okay. We will dock in the skies. Pike men awaiting order. So they've gone into my pikes, kind of. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a scrappy battle. Slingers. I also take my slingers out of. Oh blimey, they're getting wrecked. Okay, I'll try and pull them back, but I can't really see that happening. My unit of pikes is taking a few little casualties here, so I will... Oh no, wrong unit. I'm getting completely muddled with my units today. So that was absolutely useless. Oh god. I'll bring my general back. Try and bring my cab in. <laughs> I'm not one for manoeuvring, so what you're seeing here is a kind of a scrappy mess, and that's pretty much how I operate. I'm going to take these out of skirmish. Oh. Okay, General. The battle is turning in our favor. Um, Slingers. if you guys, oh god, my general, get out of there, mon general. You're not gonna do any good there. So this is where my pike, having a three units of pike wind, comes in. No, two units of pike wind. Sorry, comes in handy. Has Bugger? I could see that coming. However, their army's pretty much done. Damn, that's a shame. Hmm. I don't imagine that I'm going to catch them now, so I guess I'll just end the battle. A decisive victory. 
I know the 97 men that I lost, most of that cavalry unit, and then the general. So, well done, Mr. General. Well done indeed. It's my fault, really, but... Yep. The gods yep. guide my footsteps. Okay, so the African war elephants are free. Ready for orders. Uh, okay, I'll leave it as that then. The oh, we're going to get another rebellion. Cripes. So, I might as well just try and conquer this Ready instead. Oh, battle. I can't. Never mind. Well, we'll end the turn. And we've just had another rebellion crop up. So that's that's great. Usually, I would let the rebellion grow slightly, I um, that but as I'm at war with these fellows, I wanted to wipe them out before turning back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay. And what does that do? Yep. Nice. Galatia, we've encountered. Very nice. So I would leave them. Oh, I'm gonna have to leave them for a turn. Try and assemble some sort of forces. For Here, I guess I'll just do a bit of an auto resolve there. That did not favour my cavalry at all. Commander. Okay. At your service. So, I'll send my spy back. What do they think they're doing? How can I, be I don't know why they decided to abandon their capital. That seemed like a rather silly thing. Um, okay, I'll leave the rebellion for this turn to allow me to. Hmm. I'll give it one turn just so my public order can recover slightly. I'm going to have to recruit some pretty poo units. And maybe send the other general from Alexandria to do a bit of a joint attack down there. I'll have to leave this guy in the capital here for now. Okay. Oh, of course, Ptolemy. You may be a Plus two to authority. Our spies over here. Good. I hope that rebellion doesn't grow too quickly, because I, <laughs> I won't have the men to deal with it. Oh well, they've. That's what. Okay. Well, that's him dead, although he may have killed my elephants. Yep, only one elephant remaining. So we'll uh, be a bit brutal. What do you wish ah. Okay, let's see if we can... So we've wounded him, and I think that's... Ah, oh, damn it! Wait, no. Where are they then? They... They must have been destroyed. Okay. Okay, so I've destroyed him. Uh, it didn't appear that way, when I because I only wounded the guy, but... Hmm. I'm not going to complain with that at all. Ready for battle! So, if I just pull him out there... Looks like we could win. Let's see if we can crush this rebellion. They have a lot of cav. Got a couple units of pikes, another unit of pikemen. Okay. I will fight on the battlefield. They have a unit of hoplites. Pikemen versus hoplites should go my way. They have Tarantine Cav, I think. Um, 
Okay, I can see a bit better there. Poor elephant! Not having fire will help stop my men, or my elephants, from going running riot. I hope there wasn't a family member that died, actually. I probably should check that. I'm not really used to the new politics yet. Okay, so I think they're in a position where they can sense that I'm a bit weaker than they are. Our reinforcements have arrived. Especially when I'm bringing mob onto the field. Hey! Poor elephants! <laughs> Forward! Okay, so where are you guys coming on the fit? You... what? Okay. You guys can form up here then. I will just speed this up so we can get things moving along. Missile troops, I'll group you fellas together. Pikemen, you of course can be grouped. And you can go in a long finish line. Mob, you can just stay there. And we'll have a bit of Egyptian infantry on the flanks here to protect them. Uh, elephants. And Cav. Right. So not a very long line of pikes at all, just a line of two. But hopefully enough to keep them in place. Against their cav. Right. Easy now, Alex. Easy now. It's me! Almost in range. Let's bring the rest of the men up. I'm just hoping the elephants can act as a bit of a shock unit. Um. Okay, well I guess I'll move them forward slightly more, but... Right, I'll do a bit of a pause a Rooney here. Because they seem to be charging a heck of a lot of cavalry into my elephants, so I guess I have to get them to do a bit of a charge and stampede. In that case, and our infantry ready. Cavalry. Our general is under attack. I'm aware of that. Thank you. Bikes ready. Let me slingers. Disable skirmish. Hopefully they'll charge into the pipe. No, that didn't really go as planned. The men are wavering. Yep. Oh, my elephants have gone a rioting. Fantastic. So this could result in a spectacular defeat here. I took you out of... Oh, my God. So can I win on this flank? Target the Peltus, please. Well, at least they're going into... that big block there. Oh. Oh, that, that, that unit screwed. Okay. The enemy general is dead. Well, that's a positive. Is that the mob? The Egyptian infantry are already running. You fudging cowards! Now he's just trying to take out the peltas. So we're going to go with a big blob here. Blob attack. An entire unit has perished. Well, rather that than defeat. That for glory. Oh, 
Yep. This is a shameful display. A lot of people are fleeing. I'm probably going to win, just because I have the numbers now, but... What the heck is going on? What the frickin' heck? The elephants, I would hope, are going to take out most of them. This is a shameful display. I agree. Mark Strong. Huh. <laughs> well, this is what happens when you bring levies to the field. And a poorly executed battle, really. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. That's me! Okay, trying to save something here. I can let me win just through superior cav now. Okay. So I'm preparing to be flamed in the comments here. Men flee the field of battle. Oh, well, no, they've come back, they've come back, they've come back. Oh, good lord, that's not going to go well at all, is it? Huh? The battle is turning in our favour. Really? How? I'm going to win only because I've got elephants, even if I do win. But it's going to be a miracle if I do. They're having a field day. <laughs> okay, the best I can hope for is to take out them. Orders, my lord. Come on. An entire unit has perished. Well, I think you can try and hold up the Tarantine cavalry here. <laughs> we'll just try and regroup what we can. Are you pikemen? You are! Oh, you're just what I need now. Okay, form up. Elephants, if you could take out the archers a bit quicker. Come on. Would you... Come on. Chase them. There you go, Mr. Elephants. Oh, God, they need to get in there. Oh, oh no, no, they've gone into the pikes. Well, that was a complete and utter shambles of a battle. Typical Rambler style, though. Okay, we're in the battle. Costly victory, yes. <laughs> oh, wow, we lost 1,300 men. Err. God, that one unit got 309 kills. Yep, that definitely was a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, uh. Yes. Kill the captives. Aw, oh, man. On the move. Really? Fight for you, my okay. Well, let's send him in. Die, rebels, die. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, so thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Uh, and remember, this is all still early access footage. Um, if you have any tips for me, for part three, uh, then make sure to leave them in the description. But until next time, everyone, I bid you good day.